Hey guys! Okay, confession time. I like to cheat and manipulate. All right, before you freak out and start judging me, let me explain. I like to cheat and manipulate my stomach. You see, the thing is, I have the biggest sweet tooth in life. And if it was up to me, I would eat every dessert in sight. Now, that's clearly not a healthy way to live. So how do you enjoy your food and feel full? The good kind of full, not the kind where you're so heavy, you literally have to be rolled out of the house? It's simple. You just have to trick your stomach into eating less. Here are my five favorite tricks. Number one, use smaller dishes. Remember the video I did on using small dishes? Well, check it out because there are huge benefits to using a small plate. You see, there's only so much food you can put on a small plate, but yet it looks very appealing to the eye. You feel like you have a full plate of food. So you feel full and guess what? Your stomach doesn't even realize it was only half the size. Number two, enjoy your food. Wait, what? Doesn't that sound silly? Of course everyone enjoys their food. But you know what? You would be surprised. Most of us just shovel food down our mouths without skipping a beat. And what I found is when I started actually eating my food more slowly, savoring every bite, I actually started eating less. And I started feeling fuller quicker. Number three. Don't eat right out of the box or the bag. If you feel like having some potato chips, don't just grab the whole bag and think you'll only have a handful. Trust me, it doesn't work. So here's what I do. I grab a small bowl or a plate. I take only as many chips as I want to eat. I eat them. And then if after that I still have a craving, it actually feels like too much work to go grab another portion. Number four, ask for a to-go box up front. Now, wait a minute, don't laugh at me. I know it sounds funny, but it actually works. How many times have you gone to a restaurant and you order food and you realize the portions are so huge, it's not just one meal, it's two meals. So instead of waiting till the end of your meal to ask for a to-go box, ask for it up front, divide your food in half, put half of it away, and only eat the rest on your plate. The best time to go grocery shopping is when you're feeling full because then you'll be less inclined to reach for those junk foods. The best way to avoid junk foods is not to keep them in the house altogether. So you see, all these little life hacks and tricks are great for making sure you are more conscious and mindful of what you put in your mouth. For more healthy tips and advice on good living, subscribe to our channel below and I'll be back with more juicy stuff 